Today, for my extra credit project, I'm going to be drawing instead of just a basic PowerPoint. I thought drawing would be really cool because a picture tells a thousand words, right? So let's get started. Let's start off with an example. Let's say someone wants to ban schools because they don't think they're necessary. Usually that person would have to gather up a group of people who agree with the same cause as them. So we're not going through the whole process of making a bill into a law just for one person. Usually they'll be asked to sign a petition. Next, the U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate have to approve this bill. If they don't like it, they can end the process here. But if they do approve it, they can then send it to the president and he has the next choice. The president either, either has the option to approve it and then it becomes a law and it is enforced by the government or he can veto it. Now, if Congress seeks it's necessary, they can override the presidential veto. Some people don't get this concept, but the president doesn't have all the power. Or then he'd be another King George III. Whether the president is Barack Obama, Donald Trump, or even Hillary Clinton, the process in which a bill becomes a law always stays the same. I hope you guys enjoyed.